Habari za leo mtazamaji wangu popote pale ulipo mimi na tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Naitwa Mr. Double J hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Jamani nashukuru sana kwa support ambayo mnaendelea kunionyesha. Tumzungumzie Alfred Ketel. Sema Alfred Ketel anawaka moto na nimejiuliza nani atamzima nikashindwa. Nikasema ah waache Alfred Ketel awake moto. <laughs> Mimi hapo kwenye kumzima hapo sijui nani atamzima. So Ketel kupitia X, kwizi naitwa X, kitambo kile naitwa Twitter. Anasema kwamba amemtag kwanza William Samoe. Yaani mtu ana yaani anataka ujumbe ufike na uone usiambiwe. Eh uone kabisa usiambiwe. So Alfred Ketel anasema William Samoe Ruto amemtag while you are there remember to seek medical advice in Central Institute of Mental Health in Manhem Manhem okay sio kama nimeitamka vizuri i have already made an arrangement or made arrangements with dr ekad fachad fachad he is one of the best psychiatrists in germany tumetenga tumepanga chini ya wiki mbili utakuwa sawa i think i may retweet uh, tweet ambayo aliweka eh, william samuel ruto ambapo alisema kenya and germany share strong historic ties and considerable interest especially in trade investment environmental con, uh, conservation not conversation but conservation and individual promotion we will build on these relations to benefit our people cha ajabu ni kwamba unajua ruto naye <laughs> matatizo mengine huwa anajiletea mwenyewe sasa nataka uangalie hapa <laughs> ruto akiwa anaongea na watu ilikuwa ni wapi huko ni wapi huko alikuwa anaambia watu si ilikuwa wapi bwana nasahau juzi akiambia watu kwamba anaenda jamani ku organize sio kazi 200,000 ambayo waliaidiwa. Sio jamani president alikuwa hapa so anarudi huko wapange namna hizo kazi bwana zitafanyika. Cha ajabu anarudi hapa Twitter anaambia watu sio oh, we will build on these relations to benefit our people. Yaani hata alicho promise watu ameenda huko wazungumzi. So hii ni ishara yani ni proof tu kwamba sio unaona alichoambia watu sio kitu ambacho kilipeleka jamani ani ndo kitu ambacho kimeonekana hapa kwa haraka haraka anyway wacha tuendelee na Alfred Ketel Ruto na uongo tu ni wanaendana wameoana so ya yeah, twist tuka break Ruto na na uongo wana mapenzi fulani ambao ni tight sana uweze ukavunja mm, kama kifuniko ya gas niliona msani fulani aliimba hivyo i think ni Diana Maru bibi yake Bahati so Alfred Ketel bwana hapa unajua hapa sasa ni mtu ambaye ushai ku Sui ni kukasirika mekasirika keter Sui ni ukweli anamwambia yani kwa sababu uh, uh, psychiatrist I, i think ni wale ni wale ni, ni, ni wale watu ambao wanashughulikia mental health eh? <laughs> so in short hapa keter anajaribu kumwambia Ruto kwamba kidogo hapa juu ni, ni kama vitu kuna nyaya ambazo zimekatika eh, na zinatakiwa kabisa kuunganishwa ndo awe saa unaona kabisa ametaja mpaka daktari ambaye anawakika kabisa leo hii akimshughulikia William Samuel Ruto anaweza akarudi vizuri. So Keter bwana anaendelea na mashambulizi kadri siku zinavyozidi kuendelea. Na nimeona kwa hii hapa, kwa hii tweet nimeona watu wamemshambulia sana Keter. Watu wanamwambia e, unamuingilia sana, oh sawa, ni mbaya lakini usimuingilie hivyo ni president. But I have one thing uh, to tell those people who are um, shambulia ring Keter sasa hivi. Wacheni niwaambie ni kitu. Nyinyi Ruto anapotuangaisha anapotupandisha vitu anapotufanyia vitu ambavyo sio poa anapotulazimisha tukulipa vitu fulani ambavyo vinatuumiza sisi kama wananchi tena maskini hamuoni kama hiyo ni wasi hamuoni kama hiyo tunaingililiwa sisi kama wananchi wa kawaida yeye yeah, akiambiwa kwamba inaonekana hapa kidogo vitu havikai sawa hebu atafute daktari amuunganishie mnaona kama yeye yeah, anaingililiwa kwa nini yeye yeah, anatuingililia kwa kutunyanyasa kama wananchi wa kawaida kwa nini yamuonagi yeah, kama yeye yeah, anatuingililia So the same way anaweza akafila kiambiwa wa kichwa chake ni akiendi vizuri yani vitu ni kama havijakaa sawa ndo the same way hata sisi tunasikia vibaya wakati anatupandishia vitu mafuta nini hivi vitu vingine maid sio nini nini hizi anatulazimisha tulipe sio all things sio nini nini hizo sasa ndo the same way ambao pia sisi tuna, tuna feel so ni one one hakuna mambo ya ati mtu mwingine sio yeye yeah, ambiwi akiambiwa eti anaingililiwa sisi kwani vitu ambavyo tunafanyiwa kwani sisi tuoni. Eh, la eh hey, mambo ni one one sio mambo ya eti yeye yeah, akiambiwa eti anaingililiwa. 
sisi na wao si ametufanyia ame maajabu hapa sisi tunaongea ah bwana acheni mambo yenu bwana eh acheni mambo yenu so nataka hapa tuangalie mbona 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 keter ana asira kiasi hiki na William Samoei. I think that's the biggest question. <laughs> Hiyo ndio swali kubwa kabisa ambalo tunatakiwa kuangalia. But before that, hii story lazima tuianzie nyuma kidogo. Nimekuja kugundua kwamba Ruto wapendi watu ambao wanaongea kwa ukweli fulani au watu ambao wanaweza wakaenda against ye. Sawa? Wanaweza wakawa kwenye timu moja lakini hataki wale ambao akiwa nao, hmm? atawashambulia au yani apendi watu ambao anapenda wale ambao wanaweza wakawakalia yani wale ambao akiwa, akiwambia left wanaenda left atakama mbaya ndio kitu ambacho ana enjoy leo hii akiwa na rigadhi na kina kimani chungwa yani ni watu fulani ambao bora tu shawatupia kitu wamekula wameshiba yani tunaenda left atakama tunaenda kwa shimo tuende left hawatawahi simama na kusema kwamba ah sisi hatuendi na wewe bwana hapo ni hatari ndio kitu ambacho nimegundua hapa nataka nikurudishe nyuma kidogo Uh, uh, tare 12 Februari mwaka 2022 nataka usikilize hii hapa uone Ruto ni mtu aina gani so Wilbur team you can now tell who the so calling Ruto pretends being a national leader tunawajua spilling if beans ishaanza very soon tutajua from Mr President why the fall out between him and Mr Mwizi happened and why he Mr President settled at hashtag #odinga Now, former devolution CS Charles Keter says the divorce between the divorce sorry kuna mtu alikuwa ananipigia hapo the divorce between president Uhuru Kenyatta and DP Ruto would have still happened without prime minister Raila Odinga. Anasema hivyo, huo ni Charles Keter sio Alfred sasa nazungumzia Charles. Tutakuja kwa uh, nani? Alfred baadaye. So uh, uh, Charles anatuambia kwamba the divorce between president Ruto and DP Ruto would have still happened Yaani ingefanyika hata bila Raila Odinga ambaye leo analaumiwa. It's very clear that Uhuru Ruto marriage was not meant to stay for long since it was made of quick sand and Kenyans have been blaming the wrong person for the fallout. Yaani kipindi ki, yani tulikuwa tunaambiwa kitambo kabisa. Kukosana kwa hawa watu wawili yani haikuwa ni issue ya Raila Odinga. Yaani Raila Odinga ali, aliongezea tu but hao walianza kugombana kitambo. So if an insider like Keter says that Uhuru and Ruto fall out was imminent with, even without Raila what does that mean what was the root cause last week kipindiko Tudu you spill some beans and said Ruto hates Raila just because he failed to heed to his call to help him conduct a successful impeachment motion against Uhuru in 2018 before handshake I'm just patiently waiting on Uhuru Kenyatta to spill beans on their fall out Haya sasa tuachane na hiyo hapa tunaambiwa kwamba one thing William Ruto hates is speaking the truth. Ruto anachukia ukweli. By Charles Keter telling Kenyans opposite of what Ruto has been peddling around concerning handshake and big four agenda, Ruto will deny him UDA ticket for Bomet County. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think he hapa uh, I don't think nimekusomea na uh, upande wa William Samoe the handshake has caused confusion in the government and made projects on the big four agenda to stall. I love Charles Apika na sema the handshake was between present uh, 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 the handshake was between president Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga and it's never affected how we worked in cabinet. Huyo ni cabinet secretary ambaye alikuwa kipindiko akisema kwamba yani Raila kuingia unajua Ruto anachukuliaga ni kama Raila alipoingia sasa Raila ndo alikuwa anasema hii iende hivi iende hivi. No. That's the truth and, and Ruto anajua ukweli ni huo. Hakuna kitu ambacho Raila alifanya vibaya kuelewana tu na Ruto na Uhuru haikufanya haikufanya eti namna anaongeaga na nini William Samoe no kama ni maamuzi cabinet ilikuwa na watu walikuwa wana, wanaona akina Matiangi walikuwa niambieni hata nyinyi mkiangalia so Raila kwani ni mtu aina gani angetoka tu from nowhere anze kuvuruga hiyo cabinet ni nini yani yeye yeah, ndo yani yeye yeah, kusema sasa no ni mtu ambaye anajeshimu sana ni mtu ambaye je yake hana kielele yani ya kusijui kuingia kutaka kuvuruga no i don't think unanipata and uh, so uh, tukianza sasa history ya um, ya Alfred Keter ugomvi wake na William Samoe Ruto sasa tuko hapo kwa sababu hiyo ndo story kubwa ambayo nataka tuzungumze kwenye video hii hapa um, kama mnaweza mkakumbuka i think ni wasomee tu UDA party 
whose party leader has gone and the people revoked Alfred Keter, Alfred Keter's certificate after he won the nomination and now given it to the loser. I said it here that Ruto hates people who stand and tell him of who he really is. This is the last person I can trust. Huu ni mtu ambaye anaongea hata kabla ya uchaguzi mwaka 2022. Eh? Huyu ni mtu ambaye anasema kwamba Ruto hapendi watu wa kuongea ukweli. Na ndo sababu ambayo ilifanya akamfukuza huyu Keter. Na, na ndo maana unaonaga kabisa Keter atakaye kumpa. Yaani hata na mm -mm. Tuna, tu, anaenda naye bampa tu bampa. So na, nataka tukuje kwenye eh, points zetu. Mbona Keter huwa anamshambulia hivi William Samoe Ruto? Kwa nini? <laughs> Number one ugomvi wao wa kibinafsi kuna kauo yani kuna ugomvi wa mimi na wewe sio ugomvi wa mimi na vitu unafanya a yani mimi na wewe atuelewane tu yani kuna hiyo kutoelewana kati ya Ruto na Keter and Keter anajua kwamba Ruto ampendi kwa sababu ya yeye kuongeaga ukweli that's it na ugomvi ulianzia pale ambapo uh, uh, Ruto alikataa unajua na ali, ali win nomination by the way UDA ali win kabisa nomination But sasa cha ajabu ni kwamba Ruto naye alicancel. Kwa sababu nimekwambiaje mwanzoni Ruto ni mtu ambaye anapenda akikalia, yani akikalia aki ndo hivyo. Yaani akikwambia hivi tunaenda. Huko tunafika. Pale tuna simama unasimama. Ndio hivyo. Lakini kuna watu ambao sio sio wa type hiyo. Yaani Ruto hizi akaendana na mtu kama eh, mtu kama Martha hawezi. Mtu kama Raila hawezi. Anataka watu kama Gashago ambao yani wao bora yani bora tu amekula mdavadi bora ameshiba wetangula bora tuko vizuri tumeshiba tuko sawa sisi kama sisi tunaenda Angalia we, angalia angalia timu yake William Samoto nani leo yeye anaweza kasimama akamwambia yeye hapana Yani hapana ya sit kwamba wamekosana hapana ya umefanya vibaya turekebishe ili tende vizuri niambie nani Unajua kuna kuna wale ambao watakwambia hapana kwa sababu labda kwa sababu ya ugomvi kuchukiana ama ku hawapendani au waingiani na, na mambo kama hayo lakini kuna ukweli unaambiwa wa yani wa, wa kubadilisha vitu yani vitu viende vizuri sio kama tunaelewana mtazamaji wangu yani kuna kuna ugomvi wa aina hiyo sasa Ruto mwenyewe alimnyimaga yani hiyo certificate yani ipo <laughs> keteru waga ameiweka hapa ushiwe <laughs> Yaani huwa inamuuma sana by the way and, and inauma inauma uh, inauma wewe you can imagine uh, nomination imefanyika uh, unatakiwa kuwa mbunge bwana umeshashinda eh alafu bwana wanaenda kusema bwana huyu hapana huyu bwana simtaki eh huyu simtaki na certificate tunampea mtu mwingine no inauma inauma eh inaume trust me inauma sana mtazamaji wangu lakini um number two, Alfred Ketel Keter ame ame amedhihirisha ame kwamba sio mtu wa kwenda na upepo. E, ni wale wa kama mbaya mbaya. Yaani kama kuna kitu amefanya vibaya tunamwambia. E, yaani wewe umefanya vibaya tunakwambia. Na ndio maana unaona kwenye ukumbi anamwambia ukweli kabisa William Samoruto kwamba bwana umefanya mambo yamekuwa ya ya magumu sana. Eh? Kuna clips zime trends hata ninazo hapo hizo nani? Ninazo hapa hizo hizo clips. Nitawaonyesha keter anamwambiaga Ruto yani keter aogope yani kama kuna mtu watu nyinyi mnasemaga eti watu wanaogopa Ruto ah bana keter amogope Ruto bwana but jamaa aogopa yani anasemaga yani jinsi ilivyo eh yani kama unataka kuniua wewe kuja uniue eh wewe si umefanya nini amezungumza mambo mengi sana keter tangu mwezi jana kazungumza mambo mengi sana na najua eh, Ruto apendi kuona hivyo number three, Uh, I think pia ni opportunity ambayo imekuja. Uh, ni opportunity ambayo imekuja yeye kujaribu kujitengenezea future. Eh, siku yake au siku zake za usoni. Unanipata? Yaani in politics. Unajua siasa 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 ni funny sana. Acha nikwambie kitu. Well, this is the right time ambayo uh, Ketera anaweza kapima. Eh, akapima kama naweza nikatoboa kimimi au lazima niende na huyu mtu. Eh, but sasa ndo wajipanga aende kama yeye inabidi angalie huku sasa kunaendaje hapa. And of course kwa Ruto sasa vitu haviendi vizuri. Na kwa sababu Ruto ndo mkubwa huko, anamkuta pale pale ambapo anatoka. Unanipata eh? Of course sasa hivi kwani nani ajui Ruto afanye vizuri? 
tu afanye afanye vizuri so anataka kutumia hiyo opportunity hiyo nafasi hmm? anataka kutumia hiyo nafasi na um, i atengeneze pia na historia naamini pia ni historia anatengeneza kwa sababu uh, sasa hivi watu wanaumia sana yani kuna siku bwana tutakuwa tunakupiga story tunasema baadhi ya watu ambao walikuwa wanatoka Rift Valley ambao eh, wali uh, wali walimwambia William Samoruto kweli wakati watu wanahangaika kweli kabisa ni Alfred Keteso ni kutengeneza historia ambayo huenda labda siku nyingine ikamsaidia ika, ika unajua kuna kuna hizi dhana za oh, wewe mimi kuna si mimi sasa kwa sababu natokea Rift Valley Ruto anatokea Rift Valley sifai kumpigia kelele kwa sababu ni mtu wetu no it's not all about mtu wenu sawa anaweza kawa mtu wenu lakini ndugu yangu kuna watu wengine wanahangaika hata wenu hapo wanahangaika na maangaiko yao imechangiwa na huyu William Samoruto so okay utakuwa umefanya makosa gani kama uta, utajitokeza eh, na uanze kuongea kwamba hapana bwana tax bwana umepandisha watu wanaumia sana ma petroli mnafanya maisha na kwa magumu sana. Mahosi levi bwana amelazimisha watu. Maisha yamekuwa magumu. Maid kazi ntani mmetoa. Mbona mbona tu usiongee ukweli? Kwa nini usiongee ukweli? Na mwisho siku ni vitu ambavyo vina vinaonekana waziwazi mtazamaji wangu. Unanipata? So hapo hata mimi na msupport. So acha ajitengenezee future. Yani kama me, kama anaona hiyo ndio nafasi nzuri ambayo anaweza katumia then atumie tu. Eh, mambo ni kama hayo. Ah, lakini pia naweza nikasema kwamba ni ishara, ni ishara tosha kwamba hata Rift Valley yenyewe. Yaani Rift Valley kwa ujumla wamemkataa William Samoruto kivipi? Sio eti kwa sababu ya ya Keter kuongea, no. Keter anaweza kawa anaongea hivyo kwa sababu labda ana ana, ana, ana mambo yake tu na William Samoruto. But kitu ambacho kina prove kwamba watu hawamtaki William Samoruto ni kwamba okay hata at, at, yeye keteri kuongea ina ina prove lakini sio kwa, kwa ukubwa huo kwa sababu tunajua ugomvi wao umeanza wapi but kitu kimoja ambacho naelewa ni kwamba at least pia imedhihirisha ime kwamba hata kule amekataliwa Ruto you can imagine eh, huko ni kwa kina William Samoruto umeona hizo clips hizo clips mmeziona keteri akimshambulia I, I hope everybody ameona na kama hujaona nitakuwekea mwishoni hapa hizo clips Yaani hizo clips you, you, you can see namna jamaa alivyokuwa na confidence. Yaani ile courage ya mimi nitasema nitaongea kweli. Na anaongea na anasema kila kitu. Eh? Na anaongea everything. Si eti kwamba kuna kile kitu ana feature si nini no. Anaongea like anaongea wewe kama unataka kusikiliza sikiliza kama unataka kusikiliza usisikilize. So by wale kupiga makofi. By wale kusema ah unaongea kweli inamaanisha hata wale wanajua Ruto afanye vizuri. That's the truth. Hiyo ndio ukweli ambao watu watakagi kuona ama kusikia. By watu ku na kusema keter safi. Inamaanisha watu wampende tu. Kwa sababu you can imagine mtu anafanya vizuri, unaenda kwao, unaanza kumwongelea vibaya, afu expect wakubali. Haiwezekani. So inamaanisha anafanya vibaya. Ndio ukweli ambao watu watakagi kuumbi kuambiwa. Si kama hapo tumeelewana. So wewe oh, ukiambia watu wataona viba, but that's the truth. Yaani huko pia watu wanahangaika. Unaona the same way Mount Kenya wanalia. Ndio the same way hata wao wanalia. Sababu hakuna. Niambie ni nini hiyo ni nini imefanyika huko? Ambao leo hii unaweza ukaniambia kwamba eti eti ah Ruto amefanya vizuri ama yani ni, ni nini hiyo amefanya mpaka anaweza kapewa sifa kwamba kafanya kitu kizuri. Si gani? I don't think kama kuna Hey, I don't think kama kuna kitu ni kuangaika watu wameangaika. I don't think kama kuna kitu kingine ambacho kimefanyika uh, kizuri kiasi ya kwamba tunaweza tuka 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 eh, tukampigia kelele anayempigia kelele William Samuel Ruto huko Rift Valley. Ni the same tu. The same way Nyanza inalia ndio the same way. Ma, mm, sio the same. Mm. Nyanza wali wanavolia Mount Kenya. Unajua wale walitarajia. Sisi hata tu kutarajia. Eh yeah, mimi nakwambia ukweli. Huko huko si huko Nyanza huko hakuna mtu ambaye alitarajia eti huyu jamaa atatufanyia sio hata. Kwa sababu from day one sisi tulikuwa tulishajua kwamba huyu hayupo. Kuanzia day one kabisa tulishajua huyu hakuna kitu ambacho anatufanyia. Sema wana wanajifanya fanya tu hapa but there is nothing they will do. So the same Mlima Kenya inalea ndio the same Rift Valley. Kwanza Rift Valley wanataka kukumia zaidi au kulia zaidi kwa sababu you can imagine ni mtu wao. <laughs> and mambo ni kama haya. The same tu huko Mount Kenya deputy ni wao. 
but maisha ndio kama haya ambayo tunaishi leo hii mtazamaji wangu so i think wacha ni sign out hapa uh, ni kwache na hizo clips uh, clip ya kwanza inaonyesha same vita ilianzia hiyo ni i think clip ya kawaida dakika mbili hivi afu sasa clip ya pili ndio inaonyesha sasa uh, mambo ya moto ambayo yalifanyika yali, yali, yali yani kitu ambacho kilichangia vita ikawa kubwa zaidi mtazamaji wangu you understand so wacha nikupe nafasi uzitazame hizo video clips lakini kikubwa zaidi ni subscribe na ukisha subscribe bas uh, itakupa nafasi kwa wale ambao bado hawajasubscribe itakupa nafasi ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye but kumbukeni katera asha mwambia Ruto kwamba kijamani eh, kuna daktari ambaye anaangaliaga eh, masuala ya akili akili so amwangalia alafu tuone itakuwaaje but tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye and i'm not about to change and i'm not apologies to make <laughs> because unless you say as it is there are many people who will suffer wasaje ene ta Kenya na mimi nataka kuomba bwana secretary general what you mentioned about delocalization is bothering many teachers and it will be worse because the fuel has been increased and the cost of transport will be crazy that no teacher will afford the cost of living is on another level kwa soma go bunge you stood on a platform of bottom up kusaidia wale wanyonge alafu waende tu lakini sasa hivi mmesahau mkiongeza fuel mnateza wale wa chini zaidi kushinda wale wa mtoto ndio mwaji wako kwa hiyo fuel to water stew na mtu wacha kututisha hapo kidogo ati oh eh magile moto bu amuru serikali kwa nguo wao mommy yoge rubuti kwenye tu Simuko hapa. Mkitoka hapa mtuonyeshe petrol stations ya watu wa serikali na ile ya opposition. Magenge? Ngilia manda sikete peke lingono. Ana ne? Na muzi mwambia ti wewe si nini? Eh. Watu wa mwangolo za tuweka sasa wanaona mimi mwenye kitu mimi mwangolo. Mulizana yule rais ambaye alitoka hapo anajua kuongoza hata mimi nikakubali lakini nyinyi you are married what than who can ya Ana ne ukaso kuhuni maisha mauli Ana ne Mamisa hizo aige Mamisa hizo aige kasi hiyo hata cha tumul tumul jamaa tumulikiza Ana ne mpige hapa Ah the moment of the guy guy wa mama ni mpige hapa Mungu na wake atabikeleni mandangaleta za kama wenda mkono juu wale wote wanasema ni ukweli asante sana may my uncle rest in eternal peace thank you so much haya bishop moema pray for this i know we have our son but you know for me i don't give a damn whoever sits if you don't fix economy we chase you that is me If you don't touch on my life, I don't give a damn. Siji bishop tunaelewana hapo kidogo. Eh, amu mama je afa mo pick up tuge. Kongoi goroka mukyo gone taramo. Nikitinda bugule dane rirebi. Awo ki moyo je taramo yo go kando ide ne ndo inguna. Ki moyo je wako tane ko lo ribenge. Lakini ki moyo ge chogera na ole. Amu go majara ruta ini. Amu maje gidjo. Ale hai majela kweni lakini wewe kiari ya laisa na kina wale oye oye magisa beni kabisa magisa beni abito nae anga na magocho kusai amole ni mwange me pamwajini lakini kipsikizo dina le moto berbere ya kolege ni mwange me ndane nyoe me koma ka kibwa kwegele petrol station ngilo ne kindai mwane piga be me sekonde tun mabaya sergati age ana ne Imagine ni yege tes to kile logo jungu na jwe ba in charge to me bitani ka gere tinda la kwet la kweta ku ndo ba in charge ko ni Australia not against six and of Australia eh pe tu ne machego mo ko ni six and of Kenya ko ni ba 1.2 million 
Eh serikali ni mwangu nikagilia baslas kwa kiche mingo iko toko kwa baraka. Ngibet kibande ilo ni elbu wae. La kwenu katare school de tile netai ko ni banil buta genge. Ko maje botu ni speed 50000 ike mengo tuni. Mama mboga aga slas kiche pada pada ko muji 50000. Acha gelege moyo bonde motu wu motu ku ninya serikali. Eh ongeri bara ku takribe mambaro e. Kongata mwa kwa yi sibe kwa yi. Mama je tanga ngusiri ya takaka ama. Ngosoma ka sabika tuke no ba abona inga. Ege bendi tayo lingo mati ki berbere ka ke lenyo ka kwe. Ki gele tuku ki ajwe. You know the problem with this country is tribalism. You want to have your own. And then they don't fix issues. Then you stick to your own. When your problems come to you, and take it to the bank. Come January, most children will not go to school because school fees has been hiked three times. This Christmas, very few people will eat Christmas. Ako majo ba chikando? Si magilen miki no yoru ne ter ni mo. Hala po ki uliza wa naambi wa tiwe ni mkale nya maza. We ni mkale kitu gani? Ukilala jioni na watoto wako melala njani wewe peke yako. It's not everyone. And all the petrol stations are in a watu wa opposition and government. If you are a sufferer, you are a sufferer. This government is worse than Uru Kenyatta government. In my own what I think. In my own view. Ama namna gani? Ama namna gani? This is a worse government. Because who will left fuel at 104, it is 210. And you know the last time, about a week, CS Sirchil, ambao ni mtoto wetu wa Bomet, akatangaza at because of the war in Israel and Palestine, the fuel is going up up to 300. If it was not for the opposition and the members of press and the media houses, to expose them because many other countries were making news saying that the fuel is coming down because of the same war as as is going as uh, as is going up for the same war ndio akawaja juzi wako ongeza this week they were increasing to 250 ha alafu anatutisha sana tio nini sijui wanatishana na mimi wajaribu wasijaribu mimi unajua mkiniangalia hivi amunielewe vizuri mimi hakuna mtu anaweza nitisha hata kidogo na sio gopi wanajua mpaka ruta anajua sentisho wangu na mtu yote moi died and i let it let his soul rest in peace but he knows alfred ketera uhuru kenyata knows that mimi ni wakusema ukweli let me tell you something brief as i finish in this world make a difference in people's lives when you're still living because this world is too, too short to live in it If you go how to 110 years you're lucky. You're lucky. The entire cabinet of Moi in 1963 maybe one person. The whole parliament maybe two people. A whole parliament in 63 maybe two or one are still living. This world even Jesus Christ the people who crucified him are still not living. And we don't remember them. We remember Jesus Christ. Tunaelewana? So we don't give a damn about that you want to take our lives or you want to take whatever. Come and take it. Anything that you want. So long as we speak the truth because the Bible says it's only the truth that is going to set us free. Period. Ozi jeta onyogore na goya ngale. Gongo migine nyorutsa gari ni megeni sisi ntaba ni mebolje. Anane. Si ni mesema ukweli. Unajua tuambiane kweli Bishop Mwema. I'm sorry to have gone off kidogo. 